Why are you rolling up on me? I hate when cars roll up on me. And we're off, but first we gas up. First we gas up. Let's see if we get gas station chronicles today. Yes. What's going on? I'm trying to equal this to 157. Anything you can do to help me out? 157? Yeah, that's all. I'm trying to get me a cold beer unless you want to go and buy it for me. You getting a beer? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. But a beer, though? Yeah, I, fe yeah. I feel conflicted. I feel conflicted paying for a beer on a Sunday. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. I said drink responsibly. Uh-huh. And that's what we call gas station chronicles, you guys. <laughs> Every time I come to this gas station, it's something. arguments but like you know people who are just like in the uh, in the comments of other people's videos like you should have hung your horn i'm like have y'all ever been in an emergency situation like okay if y'all can see my horn right this is my horn this is my high beam low beam so i'm like this squeeze and if i just stretch my thumb out look it barely even touches the high beam low beam so I have to, <laughs> I have to like <sighs> grab the, the clutch and push the seat. No. Mm -mm. So my hands are, are little. Oh shit. Um, police, police. Um, it's already hard enough because my clutch is already in as much as possible. On my Vaquero, I was fighting the dealership to try to adjust this where I could, where I didn't have to stretch my hands so far. So I had to get used to my clutch and my friction zone on this bike because my hands are small and it, it was it was a lot, you know, for me to stretch my hand. Now imagine with with just having trouble with my friction zone, I have to pull the clutch and try to get my thumb. If y'all can see, hopefully y'all can see. If not, I'm gonna demonstrate when I get home and can take a picture. I have to get my grab the clutch and put my thumb on top of the horn and grab my brake in the middle of an emergency um, situation where instantaneously somebody could hit me. That don't make sense. That's why I wonder if people who um who say things like that have ever been in an emergency situation. Or maybe they just have really large hands and don't understand <laughs> what little handed people go through. Because, like seriously, every time I see somebody say that, well, I can't do that. That's what I say. Like I'm like, well, I can't do that. And then of course, you know, Okay. 
me there! Take me there! Take me there! Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. You know how people always say that after they talk for 15 minutes. Um, long story short, I have small hands. And in an emergency situation, okay, why you rolling up on me? I hate when cars roll up on me. Okay, so, <laughs> like they're right on my ass. Back up. Uh, okay, anyway, y'all, this is a video. Because <laughs> this was not the day for me to be on this bike. Like, for real. I am in full support of honking your horn versus revving your engine in an emergency situation. Let me put that on the record. 100% on board. However, I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody with little hands who, in an emergency situation, trying to grab the clutch and stretch my thumb over to um, hit that horn is almost impossible with adrenaline running through my body. Okay? Just want to put that on the record. So, um, now, if you do want to comment, you can tell me how I can fix that. <laughs> you can tell me how do I get my horn on the left and my hiding will be on the right. Okay? Tell me that. Tell me that. Be, drop a useful comment. Um, so you can help a sister out. Uh, but yeah, y'all. This is going to be the end of this video. This is not at all what I expected this video to be. <laughs> but hey, you know, spontaneity is a spice of life. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time for the next ride and for that 100 subscriber giveaway.